Hey everyone, Soundwave84 here with another Ghostbusters Plasma series review. In this review, I will take a look at Peter Vankman. Now this is the third episode I've done in the Ghostbusters Plasma series. Please, I'll leave links down below to my Dana Barrett and to my Winston Zeddemore reviews. So please check them out as they were one and two. Now let's we'll take a look at the box art. You see Vankman here. Turn on the side, you get all four Ghostbusters back. Shows you what you can do. Then normal stuff on the sides here. And you get the build. Uh, build a figure here, Vince Clortho, which be Rip Moranis' dog, and you got Peter Bankman, Ray Stance, Egon, uh, Winston, Dana, and Gozer. I do not have Gozer yet. I actually went back to go pick her up, and they were gone, so I didn't get that one. But a little bit of bio here, Peter Bankman, the man with the mouth. Peter can convince almost anybody of almost anything. So yeah, that's that. Take a look at the packaging there, so we'll come back to the figure... Boom, there is the figure of the one and the one and only the great Bill Murray. Of course, here he is, Peter Vankman. So overall look of the figure. Eh, not bad, not bad at all. Uh let's we'll take a look at his outfit here. Oh Pete Pete Pete. Let me see the Vankman. Let me see some of the details where his zipper and all that is. That he's got some stuff on the back, the Proton Pack. Around his actually tabs in really good. You saw him my Winston, it didn't like staying tabbed, it kept popping off. And like I said, he also in the other reviews, if you have any Marvel Legends, Star Wars, Black Series, you know the articulation. You got double jointed elbows, you got uh, swivels here, you got wrist articulations, you can spin around and they kind of move in and out a little bit. Uh, head and usually 360, you got a wobbly, you know, a good, a good movement here in the waist. Got hips, almost splitty. Got some upper thigh swivels, double jointed knees. Feet can rock front and back, and you have some side to side. So that's the articulation out of Peter Venkman. Now, overall, um, the sculpting of the figure, I think, is a decent take on Bill Murray. I can see Bill in this. Uh, maybe it's a maybe a younger Bill. I, I see like a Saturday Night Live version of bill murray here from back in the day and you see where his proton pack and tab into the back here it actually comes separate when you open the figure you have to put this on him um, these don't really stay tabbed in very well but, uh it you know buckles here and you unbuckle it and you slide it over and then there's a peg in his back like a gi joe figure and you just shove that in and then you would peg this see it came off over here but you peg it like uh, like a wwe you know uh wf when you had the figures and put the wrestling belts on them and you had to like push a little peg piece through the hole that is very much what this is here it just a lot of hasbro stuff especially with you no know, transformers a lot of things like tabbing and that's kind of what's going on here as well I'll worry about it later. It's not really that big a deal. I'll show this off of my Winston Zeddemore. Take this off and to get it in his hands. Their hands are very closely together. They're like the thumb to the fingers. And the grips on these things are like serrated. And you would have to get this into the hand. It's, it's a little troublesome. Um, like this side isn't as bad. You just gotta, the fingers are like a soft rubber, so you can you know, move them about and get that in. As it's trying to get them to double hold it is a problem. Yeah, I'm sure you can work it in there. It's just harder than it really needs to be. Also, uh, his accessory he comes with is the back right leg of Vince Clortho. Uh, articulation you got you got like a low knee on this back end here it's way down here but you also got some ankle movement here as well so he comes with this but the actual packaging for bankman he is number one and it shows him coming with the back left leg he actually comes with the back right leg at least mine did so it's a good thing, but the one who puts come with the other one actually comes with the opposite. So I think they just made a mess, you know, a mishap there on a misprint on the back of the packaging. So that will go to Bill Vince Cortho. But now you know back in 2016 when the all female reboot of Ghostbusters came out, Mattel was making the Ghostbusters figures and they came out with a more like a classic sort of line. 
and they did their own take on Peter Venkman, and this is their take here. Now, if you see my Winston Zeddemore, you'll see things I like about the Mattel more so than um, the Hasbro. I like both overall. I think I like the Hasbro more for the actual sculpt of the clothing because it looks like baggy, more like realistic clothing. It's not suction to their skin. Mattel is more streamlined than that. Now, I like the actual... Uh, I can't think of the name for the thing that they hold. I know it's a proton pack, but when they're holding the beam here, uh, I like Mattel's version better, and they're able to hold it better in both hands. Mattel's hands are actually a little, a little more open, and there's, their hands are more of a hard plastic. So I think it does a little bit better job there. Also, articulation, you get a little bit more on the Hasbro because they're double-jointed in a lot of spots where these are just single joints. But the joints are on the Mattel just feel more sturdy sturdy like I'm not going to break them but um, Hasbro sometimes I feel like I might break it trying to force a bend in the um in the elbows or knees now the proton packs on the back of the figure you can see that Hasbro's is more wider is larger uh whereas Mattel's is more colorful but also a little more streamlined as well the clothing is more of a darker color on the Mattel, more light, uh, more of a beige on the uh, Hasbro. It's leaning more to the gray. <laughs> you can see the one of these guys that stand up uh, on the Mattel. Now, the Mattel version does stand up better than the Hasbro. I'll give them that. Another thing on the Mattel, I think the head sculpt. Oh, they're both Bill Murray. I'll say this one almost looks a little bit kind of cartoonish in the eyes. Uh, this one, this looks too young. I don't know. I think this one with the cheeks i think this one captures. i think the mattel version captures uh bill murray as a little bit more than the hasbro version does well they're both nice figures and you know, where the hasbro comes with the build a figure for the dog mattel came where you built the ghostbuster symbol like this and you turn on all the lights and it will glow in the dark so that's that Another thing this Bill Murray figure comes with is the trap. The Hasbro version comes with the trap. I can get the Mattel stuff out of here. And this is how he has to hold it again. Uh, I mean, his hands are really close together. Uh, so this is how we want him to hold it. He can hold the trap. So I'm going to have a double Ghostbuster self because I got some from the Mattel. And I got these from Hasbro. Now, I remember there's some at Toys R Us I always saw. They were more like, high-end. They had other characters. Like, I can't remember the guy's name at the moment. But the the guy with no dick who uh, worked for the, I think, the EPA. And they had other characters as well. I kind of wish I'd bought more of those at the, when they were out. But, you know, you pass on things and regret it later. But maybe Hasbro will expand their line and give us more of uh, characters and more variety. And I say thanks for watching this review. Uh, part four of this will be coming up. I'll probably take a look at Egon. Then part five would be Ray Stance. And when I get Gozer, she'll be part six. And then I will build the dog Vince Clortho. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next one. Peace out.